Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to hide Apple's default apps without having to jailbreak. So if you don't like any of the apps or just don't use them and don't want them cluttering your home screen up and don't want to put them in a folder, then you can use this to hide any of them. A lot of people want to hide the newsstand app, so you can do that with this without even having to jailbreak your device. This all happens from a browser window right on your device. So first of all, to start this off, you're going to want to go to this URL here, rag 3 hack dot noip dot org slash hide dot html that will also be down in the description but basically visit that link from your device and you will be brought to this page and you can see all these different links are the links you tap on to hide that app uh, you know the site has been running pretty slowly with everyone trying to load it so if it doesn't work right away then just keep trying and just let it sit there for a while I've already tried the reminders one it took me about five ten minutes uh, after you tap it for a little window to pop up and you know you're gonna have to wait a while for that to happen but basically once you do that and it'll say it's trying to install an app you just let it install and you can see my reminders app where it used to be has now been replaced and there's no reminders app anywhere else on my device um, no folders or anything and this is or actually I guess there's a folder right there but Reminders is not in it. So this application has actually overwritten uh, the Reminders app. And then to delete it, all you have to do is hold down some app to let everything start wiggling. You can see nothing else has the X, but the Reminders Hide application does. Then we just delete that. And now Reminders is no longer on your device. Now the actual app will still be there. Um, and that's the IP of the uh, site. So... It has a pretty laggy connection, so if you don't cancel the stuff you load, then it can take a while. But you can see there we've finished the process, and you know if you're worried about like messing up your device, don't. If you see, I'm gonna reboot really quick, and you can see Reminders is right back on the device. So it's not gonna be anything permanent. Um, you can just reboot it if that doesn't work. Always, you can just back up and restore. Um, so it's not any permanent damage to your device, but if you don't use one of these apps and want to hide it without having to put it in a folder, then this is just a really cool hack that you can do to do that. So that's basically all we have for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.